Oh my gosh, you're putting me on the spot like that. I mean, I'm a social media strategist, not a economist, but I will say I do follow a lot of the main economists in our industry, of course, because how else would we be able to create relevant content for the advisors that we serve? But, you know, I do see good news. I do see signs coming that if you're a loan officer who is tuning in today, or maybe you end up listening to the replay, we know that the mortgage-backed security market, we recently recently broke above that 100-day moving average. And so if that trend can hold a bit longer, then the ceiling of a resistance could possibly become, instead of a ceiling, it's becoming the floor of support. That could support future price improvement. So that to me is a good sign just in the mortgage space. I also recently heard Barry Habib mention how, you know, once the Fed starts to cut rates, they will likely end that QT or quantitative tightening and you know, making them possibly a buyer again. So for those who may not know what the quantitative tightening is, that's basically a strategy to tighten up on markets where um, interest rates typically get pushed up. And then you have quantitative easing, which is QE, which is basically the reverse strategy where it does the opposite. Instead of tightening up the markets, it is you know a little bit looser where it could push interest rates to come back down. So that's the second sign of just hope for those who are wondering, like everyone's asking, Asking when our rate's going to come down. Yeah, you know, and then trying to predict when the Fed will cut. When you look at the odds, and again, this, this was from Ryan Hills. Actually, I was following him on YouTube. So make sure you are following the RE source. So shout out to them. But they had showed a chart, I believe from Barry as well, showing the odds of when we think that the Fed will start to cut. And so it looks like, you know, good sign come March next year, but for sure by summer of next year. So if you can just hold on from now until then, you know, that also more signs of hope. And then last, when you look at just the 30-year fixed mortgage rates versus the 10-year treasury yield, I can't remember the economist who said, I think it was, I want to say it was Lisa, the one who um, from CNN, she's the chief economist from the MLS Bright, I want to say. Um, but historically, we're from what she said, I don't know this, but just regurgitating what she mentioned. Historically, I want to say we're usually around 180 basis points and say we're at, I want to say 280 right now, then typically that would mean again, and there's nothing typical about this market. So don't like hold me to this guys, but I want to say she said it should be around six and a half percent for interest rates. And so I don't think that rates are going to drop like that quickly. I think it will be like an ease approach, which just means loan officers, we know when rates come down, what is that going to create? Buyer frenzy. So my challenge to you guys is how prepared are you? Like what things are you working on right now during your downtime to make sure that any client you're helping, you know, and have a strategy and a plan to help their offer get accepted. Because as rates come down, it's just going to open up even more people who can qualify. We're still tight on inventory. And so what are you doing to get prepared and get ready? But again, that is just from like the little bit that I'm studying. And can, can I just say that's what makes it so hard with this stuff is like sometimes every expert or every economist, depending on where you go in the country, may be saying something different. And I think that is from a consumer standpoint. Because if everyone else is consuming content like I am, it's hard to know who to trust, whose opinion. So just make a decision based off of who you follow. Like, do you have an opinion on the market? And based on that opinion, do your homework, do your research and share that on social.